Hello guys, and today I will hopefully teach you and you will hopefully learn how to install and download a resource pack. Um, if you don't know what a resource pack is, it changes, um, it can change the sound and the looks of blocks that you have in your game. Uh, a very popular resource pack is Faithful 32 by 32 uh, here it is. Um, it just makes the, uh, it just makes, uh, the textures, uh, much more, let's say, HD. Um, the normal resource pack is 16 by 16, and this one's 32 by 32, so it is possible to make, uh, a higher quality, um, texture pack. Now, some texture packs, or resource packs, um, need, uh, need MC Patch or Optifine. I will not be installing Optifine, uh, I will just download it. Um, so if you see any glitchy textures, uh, that's just because, uh, you need Optifine or MC Patcher. So, the reason I'm calling it also a texture pack is before 1.6, you can only change the looks of, uh, or the visuals of the blocks. But now with 1.6, it is a resource pack where you can change uh, more stuff, like the sound. So first you want to go to your Minecraft folder. The way you do that for Mac users is uh, open up Finder, go to Library, Application Support, and Minecraft. Now I have a very messy uh, a Minecraft folder. Yours shouldn't be this messy. So just stay here for uh for now. Um for Windows users, you just click the start button and uh then you type in or search a uh, percent app data percent and if you hit enter, it should give you a folder called roaming and then you'll f you'll open up dot minecraft. So now let's download faithful this is the latest version for 1.6 and it automatically uh, ins installs it. Now, since I'm using Chrome, it uh, makes it a zip file. So if I drag it onto my desktop right here in the corner, it, it's already a zip file. If you use something like Safari or um, some other browser, it may give you the actual uh, uh, folder like this. And hold on, it's unarchiving. Um, and, uh, so, uh, even if it's a folder or a zip file, it shouldn't really matter, uh, with, uh, a, a recent, uh, patch, but even if you want a zip for it, for any reason, um, I'm not sure how to do this on the Windows, but I do know how to do it on the Mac. You open it up, and you do Command Alt A to make it all, and then you right click and compress. Now this, uh, this is gonna take a long time, but you see it will make this zip file, which you can rename for, uh, for stuff. Um, anyways, I'm just gonna drag that into my trash. So now we have the faithful. I'm gonna change the name to just Faithful32. I don't know. Uh, and now you want to find the folder called Resource Packs. Uh, make sure it's not resources; it's Resource Packs. And in here, there are, there's many, many uh, 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 resource packs for me. Um, but it might be blank for you. Um, now you uh, make. Uh, take note that uh, if you have a texture pack, and I mean texture from 1.5, and you just put it in your resource packs, it's not going to work because it is not, um, it's not, uh, let's say, configured um, in the way that resource packs should be. So you just put it in there. It's really easy, and, well, you're done. Now just go to your normal Minecraft. So, uh, 
You can also use Magic Launcher, which I normally use. You can use pretty much any launcher that will um, end up with a uh, with the Minecraft uh, a menu. Uh, this should work uh, with mods, but your resource pack needs to have um, uh, textures uh, for the blocks that it adds or uh, mobs. So now you just go to options, resource packs, and there we go. Um, Faithful 32, that was the name that we gave it. And it, as you can see, it's, uh, it's much, much more HD. And now as you see, it is, uh, much clearer. It's also much laggier because it is um, more HD and you can easily change it in the game just click your resource pack and bam so that is it for this tutorial on how to install a resource pack um, this texture pack or resource pack will be down in the description uh, so, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, uh, comment your feedback, maybe even favorite it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.